Welcome to another edition of Offshore Maritime and Energy Channel. This video showcases Century Group's FPSO Tamara Nanai's departure from OML113 field. I had the chance seven years ago to bring the ship from uh, Singapore to this location. We, I had also the chance to connect it to the seabed. And uh, since then, for seven years, the unit was uh, producing oil. The history of this vessel, uh, it's a uh, year since 2015 on this IT field. It was previously uh, the asset of uh, Rubicon. Uh, late, uh, more than a year ago, Sensory Fire, that belonged, uh, this asset belonged to Sensory Energy now. It's a vessel that stores crude oil, that takes crude, crude oil from the well. We are right now, we are sitting on top of an oil well. So we produce crude oil, goes through the, the process unit, from the process unit to the marine unit. The marine then we give out. Vessels come and load. When oil comes from the well, it comes to the process unit in the production department. The process unit now collects the crude oil, separates water from the crude oil, and sends it to my department, the marines. The marine department will store the oils in the vessel, all the tanks then, we give out to export tankers that comes to carry. It was the past month uh, on ASOPS in Lagos in the office with the new clients to discuss all the modifications that we're going to do on this facility. To go back to yesterday, um, it was a proud moment for all of us. We had to dis disconnect the vessel from the field. It was a bit uh, challenging for everybody here, since uh, it was quite unusual operation for, for the crew. But uh, everything, eventually, everything uh, was done safely. It was for me a privilege to be a part of this operation yesterday that went off very good. Yesterday afternoon, 14.52, we were disconnected and we were start drifting away from the IGV to Lagos. The connection of the vessel was to ensure we prepare the safety analysis of the job to ensure this job we done safely. And we done that, we carried out an in-depth risk assessment from beginning of all the activities, all the tasks that will take place. We analyzed the risk and the also the hazard that follow and the effects and eventually put in some control measures to ensure we don't record any incident and that has been done successfully. The facility has been disconnected. We are gradually drifting to Lagos for maintenance, which will be carried out before the facility moves to another oil field to continue this production. My biggest concern always is safety. Everything went well, and I believe forward, everything will end up very good as well. Everything eventually, everything uh, was done safely uh, with the uh, support from the all the ship's crew from the. Shore management, we raised our, our challenges, they met our demands. So now uh, presently we are under tow, proceeding to Lagos shipyard. The unit will be prepared for the next assignment, another way of here in Nigeria, and uh, probably will produce for the next 10 years or so. Uh, 